Good afternoon, traders. It is Thursday, July 20th at 4.05 p.m. Eastern. So uh, East Coast North American markets have uh, just closed five minutes ago, and we closed at about 46.90. Um, and I really, <laughs> today took me by surprise, as I, as I suspect it took a lot of people by surprise. Um, as you know, ahead of um, the markets opening here in North America, on the East Coast, uh, we were heading up and it looked quite bullish. Um, as of markets open at 9.30, we were at, 40 set, at a high of 47.73. Um, and of course, you can see that we dropped immediately um, to as low as 47.51 within um, the first 15 minutes of trading. Um, we uh, struggled to go back up and we made it as high as 47.66 and then just it just let go. Um, we dropped to as low, ultimately, as uh, 4681 um, and uh, didn't really didn't want to go any further than that uh, for the day, which also surprised me. Um, but like I said this morning, I was expecting us to make an attempt for 48, and I was looking at exiting um, one or more long positions today. And what turned out to happen was I actually ended up exiting a short position instead. <laughs> Um, so, you know, no complaints, of course, um, but that also didn't really materialize the way in which I expected. Um, so let me tell you about that. So once we dropped below 47, uh, which itself was a struggle for oh, at least a couple of hours um, after uh, the morning and into the uh, um, lunch and post-lunch uh, window, uh, we we bounced around that range and then we fell, um, like I said, to the to the lows below um, almost to 46.80. Um, you know, I once we fell below 47, I expected us to fall to at least 46 and a half, um, and we didn't get anywhere close to that. Um, I had standing orders uh, put in. Once we got into about 2:30 in the afternoon, I put in my sell orders for closer to 46 even, um, and obviously that was way too ambitious. Um, but, you know, as we were coming into closing, I waited until literally 3.56 to enter my orders, um, kind of giving it as much time as possible in anticipation of a further drop. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And I was sitting on uh, two and a quarter percent, um, which, you know, it's 510 bucks or just about, um, which for 25, for 25 hour hold, um, you know, it's not something that I'm going to give up. So I took it um, and I sold the short position from yesterday, the one I bought for 47 and a quarter. I got rid of that one um, and we're back to just a barely bearish uh, portfolio holding right now. Um, because honestly, your guess is as good as mine as to where we're going from here. Um, we might make, we might turn back up and make another push for, for 48 tomorrow. Or this might be the last hurrah that we've seen um, today, and basically it's it's down for the next couple of days into next week. Um, as I said, you know, before um, earlier this week and last week, ultimately I expect us to go down um, to the lows of 42 and possibly even below that. Um, that being said, I don't rule out the fact that we're going to go up before that actually happens. Um, I expect a battle, um, and. You know, a battle is what I enjoy the most. Playing the way I do, volatility is what's profitable. Um, so I'm fully, you know, comfortable with uh, waiting for that battle to take place. And I'm happy to see 48 as much as I am to see 42. Um, and yeah, it'll just be what it'd be. Uh, I, uh, I'd love to hear what you guys did today and what your expectations are for tomorrow as we finish up the week. Um, hit me up down below on the comments for, on YouTube or on tradingjournal.ca uh, where you can find more information on my trades and portfolio and charts. Um, you can see here uh, specifically this is the trade uh, today. This is the purchase on um, July 19th, that's yesterday. Um, and the sale today, one, one day, one hour hold. Um, the HOD, which is the, uh, the ticker symbol for uh, the beta crude oil ETF, the 2X ETF, um, which you can find on their site there. Um, and you can see here the return of 2.26% uh, uh, gross on the position um, with a weighting of just about 22.5% .2 for a profit of uh, 500 and almost $10 on, a portfolio, on the portfolio. 
Um, but yeah, you can uh, shoot, you can always uh, touch base with me there as well. And in the meantime, good luck. Uh, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of Markets Open tomorrow on Friday as we finish up this week. Cheers. Um, you can see that it's actually not that long ago uh, that we were at 52. That goes back to just um, May 25th. So just a little over two months from uh, since today. Um, so, you know, it's not that crazy to expect that we would get there. Uh, personally, I think 50 is going to prove very difficult, um, but uh, yeah, we should see, we shall see. Um, for now, I'm targeting the lower 48s as an exit opportunity for one of my longs and take it from there. Uh, if we go higher than that, I mean, it just becomes that much more attractive to um, add to my shorts or buy another short. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have planned. Hit me up down below on uh, YouTube in the comments or on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my portfolio trades and charts. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards the end of trading today. Cheers and good luck.